The first person I ever called Godfather was Vito Corleone. I only met him a couple of times. I was just a soldier for the family back then. Times were tough. We were at war. Assassins even gunned down Vito. Sonny, his eldest, fought back while the Don recovered and paid the price. Michael, the youngest brother behind Fredo, took over the reins. He and Tom led a war against the five families. They pulled the strings, and my boss, Aldo Trapani, pulled the trigger. He's Michael's right-hand man now, running the family in New York. These days, opportunity is everywhere. But so are new families, fighting for their share. It took a man like Hyman Roth to get everyone to the table. We're gonna divide up Cuba, get richer than we ever could back in the States. This will be good for the family, and for me. My name is Dominic. Bring it here, let me see it. My age had better be correct. I am always accurate about my age. May you live to 100, Mr. Roth. Congratulations. Cheers. Congratulations. Salute. Well, the doctors might disagree, but what do they know? <laughs> These are wonderful things we've achieved in Cuba. This government knows how to help business to encourage it. The hotels here are bigger and swankier than any of the rug joints we put up in Vegas. Not all of those. <laughs> Michael Corleone's accepted, of course. But the point I'm making is this, that now we have what we have always needed, real partnership with a government. Salute. Cheers. Salute. And at the time of my retirement, I turn over all my interests in the Cuba operation to you, my partners to the Corleone family and Aldo Trapani, the Hotel Capri. Grazie. The Nationale will go to Rico Granados and the Sevilla Biltmore to Samuel Mangano, here with us all the way from Sicily. The rest of you will also share in handling my non-casino operations. Gentlemen, rebels and petty criminals are Cuba's past. We are its future. La Chaim. Gendan, salute. What's on your mind, Dominic? How are you enjoying Cuba? It's great, Michael. I like the little things here, you know? Nice change of pace from New York. That's good. When this deal is done, we're gonna do great things in this country. Tomorrow's a new year, my friend. The start of a new future for the Corleone family. Salud. To the future. By the way, where did Aldo go? He went downstairs for the New Year's celebration. You should talk to him. Make sure everything is set for tomorrow's meeting. Talk to Aldo. Make sure everything's okay for tomorrow. I don't want anything to go wrong. Aldo's downstairs for the New Year's Eve party. Check in with him. Your brother is making the right decision, Prado. I know. Mikey's got a good head on his shoulders. Once the deal's done, you should open a hotel here. I could do that. Someplace nice. For all the high rollers. Fredo, you having a good time? Hey, Dominic. Yeah, sure. I'm loving it here. Yeah, there's gonna be a big New Year's celebration at midnight, downstairs. Yeah, even the president's gonna be there. It's gonna be huge. I'll see you down there, all right? Aldo's already gone downstairs for the party. Something seems to be bothering him, though. I don't know. You're Dominic, right? All those underboss in New York. I'm Hyman Roth. Mr. Roth, it's an honor. Happy birthday. Thank you. This is quite a country, isn't it? I think I'll move here from Florida once the deal is complete. Let Michael take care of things back home. The government here is friendly to us, 
Not like the states where everyone's corrupt, got their hands in your pockets. Cuba is the future, Dominic. Hotels, casinos, resorts on every beach. It'll be paradise. Come on, do it as a favor, for me. Cuba first, then America. I cannot be spread too thin. Corleone ponied up two million in cash. Sipazzo, how can I compete with that? Which one are you again? My name is Dominic. I'm with Aldo Trapani from New York. See, si, that's right. I'm Samuel. Samuel Mangano. Hotelieto. The Manganos have wanted to invest in the Americas for some time. This Cuban deal, it's perfect for us. Fredo, he's Michael Corleone's brother, no? I'm Rico. Rico Granados. And you would be? Dominic. I work for Aldo Trapani. In New York. Ah, Michael Corleone's man. I know Terpani. Tried to bring him in on a land deal in Florida. He's a smart man. The property is under six fucking feet of swamp right now. Roth sure as hell knows how to throw a birthday party. New Year's Eve in Cuba? Not bad. The big New Year's celebration is going on downstairs. Hola. Enjoy the fiesta. How do they say it? Feliz Nuevo Año or something? Close. It's Feliz Año Nuevo. I don't care. Let's just get on the next flight back to Florida. Is Michael still upstairs? Boss, you all right? Michael wanted me to make sure that everything's set for tomorrow's meeting. Don't worry about it, Dominic. It's taken care of. I'm just anxious to get back to New York. I don't like it here. I don't trust what the president says, you know, about the rebels. I just want to get out of here. Come on, Aldo. You really think the rebels are going to be a problem? Yeah, I do. You know what I saw on my way over here? I saw a rebel being arrested. And instead of being taken alive, he exploded a grenade hidden in his jacket. They can win. The president can control the violence. Don't let it bother you. He's just sitting on his ass while Cuba gets taken over. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Michael's giving him $2 million as a gift, so maybe he knows something I don't. There you guys are. Aldo, is everything set for tomorrow's meeting? Of course, Michael, don't worry about a thing. Serious setbacks to our troops in Guantanamo and Santiago. My position in Cuba is untenable. I am resigning from office to avoid further bloodshed. Regresen a sus hogares. Abandonen sus carros en el hotel. Yo debo dejar la ciudad inmediatamente. I wish you all good luck. Salud. There's a plane waiting for us. Salud. Go. Don't make a Salud. big deal. Get us out of here, Aldo.
right in the tower. Dominic, up there! Come on, aim! Stay out of the crossfire. Freya, where'd you put the money? It's still in the hotel. Christ, that's two million to die. Get us through here. trying to get out. Look, Jesus, there's so many of them. Michael, I'm sorry. Aldo... Aldo was family. I can help. When we get back to New York... I want you to make sure his mother's taken care of. Okay, Mikey. Okay. What do we do now? Roth's plan for Cuba was the one thing keeping the families from tearing at each other's throats. We needed this country. You don't think the rebels are gonna win? They've already won, Fredo. Michael, I mean, what do we do now? Our family, what about us? Nobody was going to touch New York while Aldo was in charge. Everyone will want a peace now. His own men will probably turn on each other if they think it's to their advantage. It's only a few of them I trust anyway. But I trust you with my life. Dominic, I want you to be boss, and I want you to have your own family. I trust that you can run New York, Dominic. Will you do this for me? Yes, Michael. I will. Tony and Carmine Rosado are out. Out for good. Took what they had, started their own gangs. Took what we had. It's Hyman Roth in Florida. He's backing up those sons of bitches. The Rosados never had the Colleoni. And now what? They're taking over, taking hostages. Not without help. Not without Roth. Frank, Hyman Roth isn't a part of this. Mikey's right, Frank. The Rosado brothers always been angry. Ever since Clemenza died. No. No. That was no heart attack. In any case, that's the situation. We know they're running sanitation and construction, and we know Carmine's fixing fights. Yeah, and who's too? Ain't that Roth's game? And La Vegana? Junk? Dope? I want him dead! Frank! Frank Pentangeli. You've been loyal to this family for years. I know, Michael. But after Cuba, my business with Hyman Roth is very important. These accusations aren't fair to him or me. Fair. You give your loyalty to him before your own blood. Come on, Frankie. You know my father did business with Hyman Roth. He respected him. Your father did business with Hyman Roth. Your father respected Hyman Roth. But your father never trusted Hyman Roth. Are you through? Good. Dominic, stay focused on the Rosado brothers. Combine's weak. Always has been. Send them a message. Prove to me that I was right about you. Dominic! 
Frank, I'm gonna take care of Carmine Rosado. Let me deal with him. Of course you will. You're the boss, and Carmine's a stu gots. Couldn't find his ass if he was sitting on his two hands. But that stupid bum's got half of New York. Don't that tell you something? That someone's pulling his strings? Maybe. But whoever it is, it ain't Roth. And Carmine's men are still loyal to him. Well, loyalty counts. For something. Even with the Rosado brothers. It means something to me too, Frank. I can't take on Carmine by myself. I need people. People that I can trust. Do you have any loyal button men that I could enlist? Sure, Dominic. I drove here with a few associates. They're good men. They've all earned their bones. I think they're ready to be made. You'd be doing one of them an honor if you choose to bring him into your family. You'd make this old man happy if you'd pick one of my associates for your family. Any of my guys I trust with my life. So let me ask you something. What Frank was saying earlier, do you believe it? About Mr. Roth and the Rosados? Nah, Frankie's a good enforcer, but he can't see things like Mike can. Mr. Roth's been good to us, always has been. I'm good with business too, you know. I used to run a casino in Vegas. Well, until Mikey took charge, that is. If you want to take Carmine down a peg, hit him where it hurts. He's making a mint off boxing, rigging the fights. That's where the money is. You know who I am? Then I think you know why I'm here. I got the skills, you got the work. What do you want to know about me? What's your story? Tell me about yourself. I don't smile, I don't kiss ass, I get shit done. Any more questions? What about your skills? What are you good at? Arson's my thing. I like to burn stuff. I'll burn anything. Burn down a cop station once, if you can believe that. We gonna do some business? I like you. You're in. Welcome to the family. You two get out there and do something about Carmine Rosado, okay? You know where you're going, right? That whorehouse that Carmine took from us a couple of weeks back. Frank's a good man, but his temper can be a problem. These accusations about Hyman Roth have to stop. They're insulting to us both. I'll keep an eye on him. Don't worry. Good. Dominic, just remember to stay focused. You're boss now. Make a name for yourself. Let Carmine know that you run New York. Let Carmine know that you run New York. Organized crime is like any other profession. The key to success is crushing the competition. This is your goal. Take over every racket and every business and eliminate any rival family who stands in your way. What's stopping you? The other families will ruthlessly defend their turf and try to take back places that you control. You can't stop them by yourself. If you want to win, expand your family, improve your crew member skills, and hire guards to protect your territory. And most importantly, learn to use the bonuses you'll earn from controlling crime rates. Do this, and you'll know what it means to be called the Don. Carmine Rosado controls a monopoly, running brothels. That's where I want you to break him. Leave Tony Rosado out of this for now. I haven't yet decided how I want to deal with that problem. Light. If we can knock off one of Carmine's rackets, it'll break his hold on the cops. Let's hit Carmine where it'll hurt the most, his brothels. Those damn whorehouses are giving him too much influence. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna start with the cat house, the one fronted by that bakery. In our life, the key to success is intimidation. A dead man is useless to us, but turn up the pressure and you'll have the upper hand. Everyone's got two points, the point that he'll break and the point he'll fight back. Pressure a man past his breaking point, and he'll do whatever you want. Getting him there takes some creativity. Throw him around, maybe. Show him the view. And with some men, 
The more you push them, the more you'll profit. Or you can find their weak spot. Everyone's got one. Push someone too far, though, and you'll have a fight on your hands. Or worse, a dead body. But this isn't the end of the world. You can leave and try again later. Yo! Why don't you take a picture? Turn up the right. pressure, Dominic. We're You're gonna, gonna let me it. through. We need Get your eyes. ugly mug out of my joint. No fight! Oh, it's me! He's coming! Ah! 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 What's hey. that? We can't hear you. You think this is bad? You don't want to stay down there forever, do you? Good All right, Mac, hey, give on. on. Jump him. Open the goddamn door before I put a boot up your ass. Fine. You want in? Go ahead. How about a beer, huh? I used to be a ballerina. It is mío. It is mío. Hey, I know a producer out in Hollywood. Owes me a favor. Because you're pretty enough to be on the big screen, baby. Mira, even I have standards, cabron. Well, okay. Que guapo. What's your name, senor? You're too fine for a joint like this. What do you say you and me find someplace classier? And get to know each other. Ay, me encanta. Me encanta. Oh, baby. Maybe tonight I'll give you a little taste on the house. We left right Whoa, this Oh, fuck, here he is. Nah, they cool down after you guys left. I know what you're thinking. Hey, I got your back. Let go, S-Wipe. Huh? Dom, we got a problem. Time to throw down. Start with you. Uh. Finish. Over here. Uh. Help me. Uh. Jump up. Uh. Oh, Come on, man. Uh. Don't hurt me. Favorite rib, pal. I ain't gonna do nothing. What the hell do you want from me? Where are your friends now, huh? Well, clearly they ain't protecting you. So why don't you let me run things, huh? Think you can muscle in on my racket? Fuck you. Well, look who we found. Hey, let go. Oh, oh no. I'm about to get ugly. Having trouble breathing? Stop. What'd you do that for? Remember, these are just innocent people. Are Look at him. He's toast. If you talk to him now, he'll give in. But you could try shaking him down for more. Jump him. You willing to die for this shithole? Because that's what's going to happen. Fine, the place is yours. I just hope you know what you're getting into. The lifeblood of organized crime is our rackets. Rackets are where we make most of our money. Control one and it'll pay you every day. But each racket is part of a bigger business. We call this a crime ring. There are all kinds of crime rings out there. Prostitution, gun smuggling, chop shops, and each one is made up of two or more rackets. Whoever controls every racket in the crime ring is gonna be flush with cash. But more importantly, they'll receive a special bonus like bulletproof vests or armored cars. These bonuses are key to building an empire. You know this, and your enemies know this. So don't expect them to cooperate next time you pay them a visit. The deal's still on. I'll pay you for protection, but that's all. This racket's a big piece of the puzzle. We'll own this town yet. Don't hurt me. He's coming. Over here. Ah, the pussy here ain't bad. But if I was running the place, it'd be making ten times what it's pulling in now. It's got potential. Like you. You're real boss material, Dominic. What's your next move? I want to bring in more income. Keep this place guarded. And take Carmine down a few notches while I'm at it. That's a good plan. Yeah. Be an earner. Best bet is to launder some money through a legit business. A bar, a restaurant, a whatever. Cut a deal with a shopkeeper. He'll throw a little your way, and you'll get a bigger cut from your rackets. You worked with the Rosado brothers back in Clemenza's day. What do you know about them? They used to be friendly to us. But Tony always thought he deserved more. Him turning, I can understand. But Carmine, 
He's a stupid fuck. Must be out of his mind if he thinks he can be a Don. Anything else you can tell me? Sure, but keep this between you and me. I don't like what's happened to this city. I work with Don Vito, I work with Clemenza, and I don't have to tell you they deserve respect. But it's like these last ten years, they don't mean nothing. My gang's across the bridge, scraping by, and the families here recruit scum. They recruit filth. They got no respect for how we do business. It ain't right. Extortion used to be an enforcer's game, hitting up merchants for spare change. Today, the stakes are higher. You already know the basics. Find the small store and rough up the owner. To pay you what he can, it's not much, but every little bit counts. Here's the important part, though. Once you control a place, it acts as a front. Fronts can launder money earned from your rackets. Each one you control gives you a bonus to your entire income. To get a merchant to play along, you gotta pressure him. Slam him into a wall, throw him through a window. Maybe smash up his store or rough up his customers. Sometimes you have to show him who's boss. Just remember, it's only business. It's called extortion, Dominic. Nothing to it. I'm ready for some fun. Let's lean on a few shopkeepers, see what they got in the till. Ah, the protection game. Just like old times, right? We need a car, and you gotta move over so I can get out, okay? To be this Don't make me kill you. Hey, look at me. If my men come back here later, it ain't gonna be for shopping. It'll be for fucking your shit up. You understand me? Please, just take the money and leave me alone. Always early when the next big thing comes out. What was your daddy a glassmaker? Get out of my sight. Listen, sugar, I don't want to get any rougher with you than I have to. So let's make this fast, okay? Pay up. Don't even try it. I've seen worse than you. Don't hurt him! Please, no more. stop okay. hitting me! If I hear no one more time, I'm gonna cut your fucking face. Now give me the money! Okay, okay, you'll get the money. Every week, I swear. Oh, I think... So 
Sometimes the family will call you on a payphone, because it's harder for the feds to listen in that way. Hello. Dominic, it's Michael. Meet me back at the compound. We need to talk about Carmine Rosado. I keep stepping on my foot, man. Why don't you give me some stairs? Good job putting the Rosados in their place. Carmine's got his tail between his legs now. Talk to Michael. He's got news for you. These better be worth some overtime. I think Carmine's finally getting the message that you're boss of this city, not him. He's getting the message, all right. Loud and clear. I just hope I've put enough guards at my new places. Keep them defended, Dominic. Carmine will try to take them back sooner or later. I know, but I don't want to be spread too thin. If Carmine's planning what I think he's planning, then I'm gonna need more muscle. Another soldier. I agree. Frank will probably know some good places to find the recruit. Make sure to get someone whose skills complement your own. Don't ever assume your enemies will stay still. They're always planning, just like us. Having another soldier will give you an edge over whatever Carmine has up his sleeve. In this life, there's nothing more important than family. Whenever you have the chance to expand your family, consider what specialties you might need. Arsonists and demolitions experts are your firepower guys. One will burn a place up, the other will bring it down. Bruisers are your muscle. They can take out guards and intimidate any nosy witnesses. Safe crackers and engineers are your keys to the city. Whether it's picking locks or cutting down fences, these guys get you in. And don't forget about medics. They'll keep you and your crew alive during a fight. Promoting a soldier to capo is our way of recognizing a man's loyalty and hard work. A capo is stronger than a soldier, and he can learn an additional specialty too. Associates who want to join your family can be found in any business that you control. So it's a good idea to revisit a place after you take it over. But keep your eyes peeled. Sometimes the best men can be found where you least expect it. Your soldiers, you can bring both of them to a fight. Use the extra firepower to your advantage. And Dominic, it's one more thing. I've asked Tom Haken to start contacting you about what's going on with the other families. You'll know every move they make, when they're attacking, who they're at war with, and where they're putting guards. Use this information wisely, because Adan doesn't just outfight his enemies. He outsmarts them, too. Frank, it's time to add some fresh blood to the family. Another soldier already? Michael must be serious about hitting Carmine. That's great news. You'll need the extra muscle. Believe me. I only want the best, Frank. You know New York better than anyone. Where can I find the top guys? Yeah. Associates will hang out at any of your businesses, hoping they get noticed by you, Kabish. So go back to your turf every now and then and see who's around. Of course, there's the occasional lone wolf, too. Always keep your eyes peeled for guys who want to join the family, Dominic. I'm gonna need someone with the right skills. Any specialties I should be looking for? It depends. You want firepower? You should recruit an arsonist or a demolitions guy. If you want someone who's good outside of a fight, maybe an engineer or a safe cracker, but you can't go wrong with a doc or a hitman neither. Another soldier already? Michael must be. Lighten up, Fredo. Come on, what's the matter? Nothing. Mikey's sending me to Florida. I'm gonna help out at some of the hotels. You're gonna do great down there. Nobody knows more about running a business than you, right? Maybe you could even give me a few pointers. Thanks. Well,. First rule of business is knowing how to work with the cops. If you spread some money around, a bribe here and there, it'll buy you a little time if you ever get into trouble. So if you think a business deal may get hot, pay off the police first. Bribe a cop before you extort a place. If a merchant causes trouble, the extra time will give you some breathing room to finish the job. The cops will remember you helped them, once. You gotta keep greasing their palms every time you get in trouble. Next time I talk- Over here! Carmine's racket is locked up tight, but a guy with the right skills could get us in. To get into that next racket, we'll need someone with skills. Like a demolitions guy or a lockpicker. I know, which is why I need to recruit another guy. Don't worry, 
Thomas, you can still ride shotgun. Jesus, whoever did that changed your underpants. Bingo, bango. Come on, We're go! On the streets, Dominic. We could use another body. I'm on a hot streak. A family's only as strong as its weakest link. That's why I need someone good. You can't go wrong with me and your family. What do you want to know about me? What's your story? Tell me about yourself. Hey, I got the gift of gab, man. I can talk my way out of almost anything. Lineups, bad raps, you name it. Comes from being such a sweet talker with the ladies, you know? What are you good at? I'm skilled at demolitions. You want something blown up or torn down? I'm your man. So, we got a deal? You're in. Welcome to the family. All right, time to take take over that last fucking racket. Look at you guys. What's the word? I'm coming. Okay, Dominic, that big rifle is next. <laughs> Carmine won't know what hit him. The fuck he won't. Carmine's not that dumb. He'll know it was us, but I don't care. Let's do this thing. Local authorities apprehended a member of the so-called Mafia after he evaded police and led them on a three-hour chase through the city. The man is wanted in connection to eight unsolved murders. Mm -hmm. Life is sweet at Sweet Life Bakery. We offer the Most fucking pastries, panties, cakes, and confections in New York. Come downtown and indulge your sweet tooth. We'll you should take that new soldier out. You put him through his paces. Shit, he's over here. Trying to get your shit. What'd you forget to do in this life? Blow it up. Want me to blow it up? Hey, Just let's take a breather, okay? Whoa, fuck, here he is! Put that away, Mac. Okay, Sugar, I'm only gonna say this once. This cat house is on my turf. That means I get a cut of the action. Understand? Forget it. I ain't scared of you. Look who we found. No more. I'll pay. Listen to me. You fucking pay. Look at me. Make the deal, or your brains are gonna be all over the fucking floor. All right. You want this racket? It's yours. Take it. 
Each crime ring you control gets you one step closer to the top. More importantly, you receive a bonus, like armored vehicles or brass oh. knuckles. But if you lose just one racket in a crime ring, that bonus is gone. To keep a place from falling, you can pay men to guard it. You can also send a family member there for defense. A made man is as strong as several guards, but while he's away, he can't be part of your crew. Of course, what goes for you goes for your enemies. If they have a bonus that's making your life miserable, taking one of their rackets will make them lose it. And if you don't have the manpower to take over a racket, try bombing it instead. A bomb will temporarily close a racket and break the family's bonus. Finally, keep an eye on how many guards your enemies are using. Strike them when they're weakest. Think ahead, plan your actions, and your family will stay on top. Hell yeah, boss. Carmine must be hurting now. No doubt. That's a lot of bread he's missing out on. Now that we got that monopoly, we're gonna make some serious dough. Need me to take care of that? What now? I wonder if anyone's well, tried up? to contact you. We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. Hookers and cops, what a combo. Give the cops some freebies, they sure are easy to work with. Set the fuse.
Listen to me. I'll let you keep running this place, but you're gonna run it for me now. Do I make myself clear? Fine. You want this place? It's yours. Carmine, what's he trying to pull? What do you think? He's trying to take back his turf. That's why we gotta stop him. Trust him, boss. I bet Carmine tries to pull this shit again. Well, if he does, we'll be ready for him. We should let Michael know that everything's okay. This racket's okay. a big piece of the puzzle. We'll own this town yet. Frank, things are getting hot. I need a place to rearm. Ditch the cops. Yeah, I know a place. There's a block of old apartments downtown. Michael and me will meet you there. It'll be over. I'll see you soon. Where's this place that you're meeting Don Corleone? No, no, some old apartment building. God, I hope nothing's wrong. I got a bad feeling, Dominic. Carmine Rosado's up to something. Frank, what are we doing here? It's your new place. Here. The key to the castle. Enjoy. Some castle. This place is a shithole. What are you, a decorator? It ain't the Taj Mahal. It's a safe house. Look, you want to shake the cops, you come here. You need ammo, guns, you come here. Come on, get inside. Sometimes you need to lay low. Get the cops or Rosados off your back for a while. Talk to Mike. He's inside. <laughs> Why are we meeting here? Are we in some kind of danger? No. I wanted to give you this apartment. It belonged to a man who worked for my father. Luca Brazzi. It's a good place to disappear. We're Dons, Michael. Men like us can't just disappear. We need to settle things with Carmine. Make him pay for those attacks on my businesses. Payback could lead to war. But I can't say I disagree. No. You're right. It's time to send him a message. Then it's settled. I'm gonna put a hit out on one of Carmine's made men. They've been leading the attacks, and I don't think they're gonna let up. If I don't deal with them now, they'll just keep attacking. And taking out one of his soldiers, it will also weaken Carmine's family. Permanently. You're calling the shots, Dominic. You can put a hit on anyone, whenever you decide the time is right. The family takes orders from you. I'm making the call, Frank. We're putting a hit out on one of Carmine's soldiers. Good. Let's get them all. Let's get them all now, while we got the muscle. We'll get them, Frank. One by one. But not without the right information first. Right. You need to get some dirt on your target first. Find out where he is, where he hangs out. Talk to the right people. Do him a favor. You'll get the info you need. One at a time, Frank. But it has to be permanent. Send them a message. To do that, you gotta snuff the guy so it'll get everyone's attention. Pay attention to the intel. 
Strangle him. Maybe put a bullet between his eyes, you know? It's gotta scare the family stiff. Otherwise, you'll never weaken him. To get to Adan, you have to get to his main men. Finding these guys isn't easy. You'll have to hit the streets first. Start by asking around. If somebody knows something, offer to do him a favor. When the favor's done, use the family tree to see what kind of intel you've earned. This information tells you where these guys are and the best way to kill them. The kill condition is key. Just shooting a guy's not gonna shake up a family. You've gotta send them a message. Each guy needs to be killed in a particular way. If you miss, he'll be out of commission for a while, but he'll be back eventually. Do it the right way, though, and it'll be history. Eliminating a made man is good for business. Remember, just like your family, these guys can be sent to defend or attack businesses. Take them out, and your life will be much easier. Good. Let's get them all. Let's get them all now, while we got the muscle. Looks like you need a favor. How are you at leaning on somebody? There's a guy I know who needs to be put in his place. What do you say? Deal. Talk to me. What do you want done? Listen, I hired a crooked contractor. Probably my mistake for not checking him out beforehand, but hindsight ain't gonna fix the hole in my roof. Well, I wanna make sure he don't work ever again. Break his arms for me, will you? Sure. Come on, go! Roger that. Oh Christ, the floor's all sticky. Get that feeling something bad's about to happen? Taking out one of Carmine's made men? This could lead to war. That's all right. It's gotta happen every now and then. Helps get rid of the bad blood. That's the game right now. Profit is all. Careful, I see trouble coming. We know a few things about Carmine's family. It's all go family tree. I Don't squeeze too hard, Dom. <laughs> Fight! Rosado really fucked himself this time, thinking he could take you on. Take us on, you mean. Good work back there. Yeah, who's this? Carmine Rosado. Carmine. Look, I'm sorry about the attack. Truth is, I, I can't always control my men. You better learn to straighten them out. I know, I know. Look, Dominic, I want a truce. Let's talk peace, okay? Okay, talk. Not now, not over the phone. Meet me at Richie's Tavern. We can talk then. Out of my way, pal. Carmine Rosado's talking truce. You should hear him out. I like Carmine to offer an olive branch. Something's not right. No, I believe him. 
He's weak. He's got nowhere to go. A truce makes sense. For the smoothest ride in the sky, fly Takeoff Air. Now offering non-stop flights on our fleet of brand new jets all over the country. Touchdown with Takeoff. WMMK. Well, look who we found. Dominic! You were supposed to be here already. I couldn't help it. Cabby dropped me off on the wrong corner. Well, get in. Buongiorno, gentlemen. What's this? It's a lucky scene for our truce. Richie, get us some drinks. I don't like the Sino, Carmine. I take that as an insult. I'm sorry. It's our way. We're all really happy about your decision. About the peace. You're not gonna regret it. Mm-hmm. Hey, wh where's our drinks? You can't make a truce without a toast, huh? <laughs> Michael Corleone says hello. Get his head in. A cop, what the fuck? Hey, Rich, if you open or closed? Carmine, no! No, not here! Keep off! Michael? I have to be brief. Meet me at your compound. I'll see you soon. Slow down, Dominic. Carmine Rosado. I hope he and his brother burn in fucking hell. Sweat too. This business with Carmine ain't through. Not by a long shot. It'll be through soon. That son of a bitch will pay for what he did to Frank. Hey, you driving or playing cards? This attire has critics up and down. We gotta keep our eyes peeled. And I hope nobody's coming. What the hell's going on here? Pentangeli's dead. It's Carmine. The truce was a setup. You should have seen it coming, Dominic. One of his men said you were behind this. Did you set us up? Did you? No. That's a lie. I would never go against my family. Carmine must have been planning a message in case things went wrong. But what's he trying to pull? Something's not right here. Let me tell you something. I can't let him get away with this. No more negotiations, no more tricks. I'm gonna enlist another soldier, and we're going to war. Good. 
Recruit the best man you can find. You can win this, Dominic. And after you've taken over all of Carmine's businesses, New York will belong to your family and no one else. I know, Michael. Carmine fucked up. He messed with the wrong boss. It's time he gets what he deserves. Eliminating a rival family means one thing, war. You never succeed until you kill a family's Don. And you'll never get to him until you take over all his businesses. But just randomly targeting rackets and fronts won't get you very far. Instead, plan a strategy. Build your family, upgrade your men, and guard your businesses. Take over places that are weakly defended or that have no made men guarding them. Bomb businesses to break up your rival's crime rings. And if a made man is giving you problems, then maybe you should return the favor. When a family has no businesses left, they'll retreat to their compound. That's where you want to make your move. The compounds have many ways in, so keep an eye out for places to use your crew's specialties. But be sure to bring a demolitions expert. The only way to guarantee that a family's finished is to completely destroy their compound. Carmine's empire is yours for the taking. But remember, one day, you may have to deal with revenge. Take over everything Carmine has. Every racket, every business, bring them under your control. What do you think Dominic's taking? Carmine's made men ain't too bright. Then we could put a hit out. Torture. This place will burn up quick. We should start asking around, see if anyone wants to join the family. Burn, burn. Let's burn the mother down. He's finished, boss. Follow me. If we're gonna wipe out Carmine Rosado, we'll need to do something about his businesses. That's the plan. So stay sharp. We got work to do. Today's show. You want to be part of the life, this thing of ours? I can get you in. I can bring a lot to the table, man. What do you want to know about me? Tell me about yourself. I'm kind of like a good, cheap wine. I get better with age, and I really pack a punch. Know any good tricks of the trade? I pick locks. Rotary combos, drill jobs, even tunneled into a bank vault once. I get in, man. So, Dom, am I getting made or what? Yeah, you're the one I need. Welcome to the family. Found. The new guy, he can talk. Over there. Crack it. I need a smoke. You got one? What else you got in this yeah. place? Shit, hang on. 
First we break your shit, then your face. It's coming. got tricky tumblers, but I think I can crack it. Good work. Go away! He's over there! Take him down. You should have oh. run when you had the fucking chance. Like this? Someone let those assholes off the leash. No, not now. Can't we deal with this next time? Nice place you run here. It'd be a shame to see it burned to the ground. Understand? Forget it. No way. Fuck off. Fight! No! How could you? Don't do it. Please. Pull. Okay, I'll give you the money. Pull me up! Come on! That's the one in charge. How you gonna say no when I smash your teeth in, huh? Hey! Please, just take the money and leave me alone, okay? Over here. Sir. You know what they say. More money, more problems. I gotta get out of this city. It's dangerous. behind me. Not so tough fun. now, are you? Down. No, no, no. Don't, don't shoot me. Come on, come on. Crack it now. Easy pickings, Dominic. Let me open that safe for you. Well, look no more. Princess, give it up. Don't point that thing at me.
This is my turf now. The only way you're gonna run this racket is if you deal with me. Am I clear? All right. You want this racket? It's yours. Take it. This racket's valuable. Don't let it get taken back. Hello. Dominic, it's Michael. It's time to talk. Meet me at your safe house downtown. I'll see you soon. I bet I know what's on the Don's mind. One thing, revenge. If it's revenge he wants, I'm happy to oblige. Hang tight. We'll be seeing the Don soon. Carmine Rosado's weak, it don't mean he's powerless. Stay sharp. Michael, New York is mine. I control everything. Then it's just between you and Carmine now. No, it's over between me and Carmine. I want him dead. It's your call, Dominic. You've got him on the ropes. He's probably holed up in his compound with whatever men he's got left. Then that's where it's gonna happen. That's where we're gonna end this war. An assault on Carmine's compound won't be easy, but your family's strong. You're a good man, Dominic, and a good Don. I know you'll succeed. And once you wipe out Carmine, his family will be gone forever. When it's war, a family's boss is kept inside his compound for his own protection. Once Carmine is eliminated, his family will be gone. The only way to guarantee the Carmine dies is to blow up his compound. Hope I'm ready for this. If Carmine knows we're coming, we could be walking into a trap. He doesn't have any options left, so I gotta assume he knows what we're up to. Remember, don't leave until we blow this place up. Okay. Shit! Over here! There's probably a couple ways in. Keep your eyes peeled. Over here! Over here! 
Let him rip. Carmine's gotta be around here someplace. Take this! Take this, punk! He's up! Let me get back to this. He's over there! there he Put is. that away. We bring that to blow, the whole place will come down. Motherfucker! You betrayed me, Carmine. You killed Pentangeli. And now, you are gonna die. Fuck you, Dominic. Fuck you! If you kill me, my brother will hunt you down. You and all you Corleone cocksuckers, he'll make you pay. Tony will finish what I started. Pantangeli was just the beginning. You have no idea what you're getting into. Curtain call for you, punk. Uh, right uh, over there! He's off to Yeah, that's play. right. It's fucking over. This is the end, shithead. Crack it. Uh, I can crack the safe. Let's go find us a mint. There. Shit, hang on. Follow okay, me. I'm coming. Blow it up. We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. Okay, boom. We gotta get out of here.
spread out. That sounds good. We might want to get out in New York, lay low for a while. I hear Florida's nice. That's not a bad idea. Who do we know down there? Yes. Who's this? Hyman Roth. We met in Cuba, remember? Of course. Mr. Roth, how are you? Good. News travels fast, my friend. I've heard you've made quite a name for yourself in New York. Thank you. Dominic, I'll be quick. I have an opportunity for you here in Florida. I'd like to speak with you in person. Fredo's here too. He can meet you at the airport. Until then, take care. <laughs> I've never been to Florida before. This is gonna be fantastic. Where we go? Tom likes me best. That's why I get to you know where the shotgun. airport is, right? Yeah, Professor. I know where it is. behind the wheel. Come on, let a pro drive. Are you thinking of traveling with us today, sir? Enjoy your trip, sir. Oh, sorry. Coming in! Fredo! Oh, there's even better town on the beach. Yeah? Oh, yeah. You're gonna love Florida. Let me take that. Let's go. So, Carmine Rosado, he's, um... He's not gonna be bothering us anymore. It's Tony's family. <laughs> hey, watch it! Easy, easy. You don't know how to drive down here. These gang of small potatoes, they ain't the reason Mr. Roth called you. He mentioned a family. Yeah, the Granados. Ever since Cuba, it's been nothing but war with those guys. What's their business? Guns, girls, whatever they can get their dirty hands on to make a buck. And their boss, old man Rico, <sighs> he's trouble. Made his money in construction. Probably buried a body under every house he's built. But he's connected all the way to the top. Is that so? That's why Mr. Roth called you here. Well, hopefully I'll like what Mr. Roth has to say. Mr. Roth is a great man. I remember hearing stories about him when I was just getting started in the life. Over Got there. You, boss. So, where does Mr. Roth want to meet? At his house. Ain't far from here. Don't look like a millionaire lives there. But that's just Mr. Roth's style. I guess he don't like to draw attention to himself. Florida seems like your kind of place, Fredo. Oh, yeah, it's great. Always sunny, beautiful women. Every place plays this great music. They call it salsa. Yeah, stick around a while. You'll like it here. It's been a while since I've seen Mr. Roth. Not since Cuba. Is he up to anything? Nah, Mr. Roth ain't changed in 60 years. Got his star running molasses out of Cuba. My pop supplied him with the trucks. He don't smuggle sugar no more, but the game's the same. Making money. What's he worth? Anybody know? Officially, he ain't worth more than that deed to the shack he calls a home. But that's just a cover. Mr. Roth's got millions. Hundreds of millions. He got in on Las Vegas back when it was just a watering hole for GIs. He's making money off every casino out there. Oh yeah, it's great. Well... Let's stick together. I like Fredo. He's a good guy. Yeah, he knows all the hot spots in Florida. If you want to get laid while you're here, he's the man to talk to.
Mr. Roth, how are you? I haven't seen you since... Not since Cuba. I heard you got out safe. I'm sorry about Aldo. He was a good man. Thank you. He was a good boss. My friends tell me you're a good boss, too. A great one, in fact. A man who knows how to get things done. Lead in battle. You know how to take out a family. You mean Carmine Rosado? I mean the Granados. They're pricks. Especially their boss, Rico. He pulls a few connections downtown, and suddenly he thinks he runs everything. He's got no respect for the way we do business. So, why don't you do something about it? Because they've kidnapped one of my men. I can't make a move while the Granados have a hostage. They're watching me, but they're not watching you. Rescue him, Dominic, and I'll know that what they say about you is true. I'll know I made the right call. What do you know about these kidnappers? They're professionals. Not necessarily dangerous, but they mean business. I want my man out. Alive. Fredo told me a little bit about the Granados, but I don't think he gave me the whole story. They're a young family. Rico, their boss, got his start in real estate, turning swampland into suburbs. At some point, he realized he could get better deals if he brought some muscle to the bargaining table. Muscle turns into guns, and here we are. They were going to be a partner in Cuba, but now... this. Have you reached out to Michael? He might be able to help with the Granados. True. But we respect each other too much. We don't need to step over each other's fences just because there's some crap to clean up. But why me? You're more connected than anyone. Connections mean nothing at my age. I'd give four million just to take a piss without it hurting. Only two things matter to me. My health and my trust. And I want to know, should anything happen to me, that there are people I can trust. Over here! If the Granados are taking hostages, they must mean business. That's why I don't want to take any chances. The second you see these guys, drop them. Those assholes find us. At Merit Credit Union, we hey, he's up on the paint job. Security. Your nest egg will be safe with us, and with the help from our knowledgeable investment managers, you'll be able to grow it for years and years. Merit Credit Union, our minds are on your money. Kidnappers don't know who they're messing with. Solid pocket back there. There! Can I get a shot? Jump him! Put the gun down. Take it from me. Ah. You don't want to get shot. You okay? Yeah. These guys were talking about pouring me in concrete to send a message to Raw to fucking A. That's not how I want to go. They found out I was an inside man getting info on the smuggling racket. They're bringing automatics into Florida. New models. Hot shit. Whoever owns these babies is going to run this town. Thanks for rescuing me, man. I won't forget it.
Yeah? This is Hyman Roth. Mr. Roth, your man is safe. I know. Thank you. Listen, there's a little suburb nearby. Meet me there. I want to give you something. These places we keep meeting, Mr. Roth? They're fucking shitholes. Ain't he supposed to be a millionaire? We can show you some extra manpower, Dominic. I know. I'm gonna recruit somebody. Add some fresh blood to the family. So what do you think? Think about what? What? Oh, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Just uh, talk to Mr. Roth. Mr. Roth's got something for you. Your man's safe, Mr. Roth. He may be a little scratched up, though. He's seen worse, believe me. To show my thanks, I want you to have this home. It used to be my safe house during the Prohibition. Today, it's yours. I appreciate that. Thank you. So, Prohibition, huh? This place must have quite a history. There might be a few casks of rum still buried in the foundation somewhere. But Dominic, I didn't contact you only about the house. There's one other thing I wanted to tell you. You, of all people, should know how important a capo can be for a family. You really should promote one of your men. Appoint him as your capo regime. Being a leader will make him stronger, and he can do more for the family. This is important, Dominic because the Granados and Tony Rosado will be coming for you, and you must be ready for them. You've stirred up the Granados. Be careful. It's always an eye for an eye with them. Not a bad place, huh? I prefer to sweep back at my hotel, but hey, Beggars can't be choosers, right? Everyone keeps saying that Rico Granados is connected. That he has friends in high places. What do you know about that? Yeah, the mayor, police chief, even some of the union bosses. Rico's got them all in his pocket. But if you do them a favor, they might do something nice in return. It's worth paying those guys a friendly visit. Think about it, Fredo. If I take out the Granados, the money I can make here, it'll be like robbing Fort Knox. Well, the Granados ain't just gonna roll over because you said boo. You gotta get an upper hand first. No one to call in a favor. Like if someone you know has an ammo connection, call him before a fight. Maybe a cop loses some evidence, get a guy out of jail. Hell, even a G-man could call in a sting for you. Exchanging favors with an ordinary man is one thing. But having a judge, DA, or police chief in your pocket means you have influence. Get a union boss on your side, and he can order his men to rebuild the bomb the business. Some people can spring your men from prison or a hospital, call off the police when they're on your tail, or even put a rival family member behind bars for a while with a sting. Best thing about these favors is that they can be called in at any time. It pays to have friends in high places. The Granados ain't like the Rosado brothers. They were organized Saturday? Honestly, you just can't trust the government. Let's stick together. Show these Granados douchebags how we do things in New York. <laughs> Listen to you, fucking General Patton over here. Go. I can cut the lights, boss. Mouth, Take okay. care of it. He's in the way, but not for long. Shit, he's over here! I know. <clears throat> Who's gonna clean up the place when you're dead?
Don't even think about it. Watch it! Another family! Let me take a crack at that safe. What a piece of me! Look who we found. Crack it. You know who I am. You know what I'm capable of. So unless you want to end up dead, you'll hand over the racket. Fuck you. You're gonna have to do worse than that to get my racket. Fucking ass. Nice. Get ready. Any last requests? Don't you win, I'll pay. Hold out on me again, and the last thing you'll ever see is my foot in your goddamn face. All right. You want this racket? It's yours. Take it. Follow me. Worse than my grandma. She's blind. Come on, come on. Crack it now. I got the combination, boss. We got to cut them all that. the action in this racket, and we don't have to do a goddamn thing. I like it. Mark my words, Dominic. A year from now, you will be running the show. This one's all yours. I think I can cut through that. Give me a sec. Almost done. More where that came from. This isn't that cat's and gun if we do it my way. Punk's not worth digging a hole. Another douchebag wants to talk business with me, is that it? Look at you. You can't run this place for shit. Not without me and my men. Got it? This racket's all I got, so fuck you. You don't want to mess with me. Well, well look square who we found. found. Real dumb. Oh, this way. Got the bastard. Got the bastard. Don't you? No, I'm good at you. 
Yeah, take a look, asshole. It's a long way down. Hey, you win. Don't do this to yourself. Don't do it. I will make you suffer in the worst possible way. Okay, the racket's yours. You better not fuck things up. This racket's a big piece of the puzzle. We'll own this town yet. Please, not me. Did those guys really think I would? Over here. Good spot for a bomb, Chief. Take care of it. Give me some time. Hey, I can cut through that. No! It'll be over soon. Shit, this wire's thicker than I thought. Solid. Come on, go! Let me take a crack at that safe. One more turn and... What now? Dominic, I don't know how you do it. Why, hip cat, man.
city without giving me a cut of the action. Got it? This racket's all I got, and you ain't getting a piece. I'm giving you three seconds, shithead! Say no again, and I'm gonna cut a permanent smile into that fucking mug of yours, you got it? Okay, the racket's yours. Just lay off of me, all right? Talk to me. It's Hyman Roth. Oh, Mr. Roth. Hello. You don't have to be formal with me, Dominic. Listen, swing by my house when you have some time. There's more business to discuss. We gonna see Mr. Roth now? My gut tells me he's got some important news. Over here! So what do you think Mr. Roth's game is, huh? I mean, he acts like some retired old fart, but there's no way he's out of life. Not yet. I don't know. He always had his eyes set on Cuba. Roth still thinks it's the land of opportunity. Seizing a cache of guns and ammunition being smuggled in from Sicily. The final destination When are we of supposed to get there? Is... Tomorrow? Because we ain't getting there today. Fredo, my man. What's going on? Not much. A little tired. Rolled out of bed this morning with a hangover and a cocktail waitress at my side. Know what I'm saying? How's business? You'll let me know if you need a little help, right? What's the score? It's tied. I like listening to football in the afternoon. Baseball, too. I've loved baseball ever since oh. Arnold Rothstein fixed the World Series in 1919. I'm sure he made a lot of people very angry. He also made a lot of people very rich. It's only a crime if you get caught. If not, it's only business. There's a lot we can learn from sports. Invest in the future, Dominic. Expand your family. Recruit another soldier. You'll need the extra muscle to keep the Granados at bay. Remember, family members can be sent to defend a place even when you're not there. Businesses like football. Sometimes the best offense is a good defense. To make it in this life, you'll have to invest. Not just in your businesses, but your family. Whenever you can, check what new skills you and your men can learn. Some skills improve your fighting, and some your aim. Finally, remember that any weapon you find can be purchased for your family as well. Give your men the right hardware, and they'll get the job done. When you pay for guards, you're paying for peace of mind. Nothing is more important, my boy. Sending your made men to guard a business is just common sense. You can't be in two places at once. Christ, Fredo. It's like the more I make, the more I gotta spend. It ain't fair. Nothing's fair in business. You're holding all the aces, Dominic. People will want to come after you. If I just use guards to defend my rackets, how's it gonna affect my bottom line? They get paid every day, so it can get expensive. You gotta balance how much you're willing to spend with how much each business is worth. But you can always scale back if it gets to be too much. When your father's businesses were attacked, what would he do? Would he send his made men? Sometimes. Pop worried about putting his best men in danger like that. But let's face facts. That's what they're best at. Sure, they might get injured, but nothing turns a fight like having a cop or a soldier help out. Huh? Dominic. Michael. How are you? Not good. Something's come up. 
I need you back in New York what right away. I'll get on the next available flight. Good. I need your help. I'll see you soon. Never get over time. We're being exploited. I ain't gonna do nothing. What's going on? I can't get a flight out. Everything's closed. It's the airport workers. They're on strike. Whole place is shut down. Damn it. I need to get back to New York. What am I gonna do? Wait till it's over, and it's getting worse. Other places are threatening to strike too. Someone's been stirring up workers all over Florida. Talking about organizing labor, pooling wages, picketing. What? Someone's pushing that commie bullshit here? Sounds like it. I don't know. Mr. Roth knows more about it than I do. He's here with the friend. They're out in the parking lot. You should talk to them. Only Mr. Roth knows what to do. We're under attack. They want their turf. Mr. Roth. Good to see you. What brings you here? I'm here about this strike. It's disrupting our business. My friend and I have a vested interest in seeing the situation resolved quickly. His name is Henry Mitchell. He's an agent with the CIA. An agent? What is this? Dominic, relax. The CIA's our friend. They've been partners with this thing of ours for over a decade. They're in the intelligence business, my boy, that's all. We keep their noses clean. They keep us informed. Simple. Talk to him, okay? Mitchell and I have been involved in deals like these for years. It pays to have friends in high places. Take care of this Alejandro fellow. We'll all be better off for it. Hello, it's Dominic, right? I'm Henry Mitchell. If you're wearing a wire, you better tell me now. Take it easy, I'm on your side, okay? No wire. Mr. Roth and I have been working together for a long time. I called him when I heard about the strike. Eh, they're just a bunch of picketers. They'll cool off eventually. No, it's not them. It's the guy behind them, Alejandro Almeida. He's a Cuban-American and a fucking commie. He's stirring up the city's unions, encouraging violence. The whole situation's out of hand. The feds can't nail him, and local politicians seem unwilling to crack down on him. Yeah, he's probably got him blackmailed. What do you need our help for? Well, officially, I'm just supposed to gather intelligence on Alejandro. But Mr. Roth and I have discussed it, and something else must be done. I hope you understand what I'm saying when I tell you it's in both our interests if Alejandro were to just disappear. A commie like Alejandro can't be allowed to bully our politicians. If he gets influence in Washington, who knows what would happen? Alejandro Almeida is a threat to our way of life, Dominic. He must be taken care of. Fucking commies been all over the news lately. It's cause they're here, in this country. God knows what they got planned. Tonight, equal rights for everyone! They're just making money off of our hard work. So and okay. there was some shit going down at the airport. Let's jump in! You think this is bad? Listen to me. I'm only gonna ask this once. Where's Alejandro Almeida? Almeida is my friend. I'll never tell you. Never. Okay, <laughs> research? Just wait till I get started. Pick yourself up. Come on. Hey, up yours, man. Is this commie shithead worth your life? Then tell me. Where's Almeida? Okay, okay. He and his men operate out of the old junkyard. It's not too far from here. Go to hell, you son of a bitch. If they die, their blood's on your hands. Guys, 
something him. for you. Ah, shit. Punks on the perimeter. Follow me. Vayamos. Now that that shit's finally over, let's go back to New York. I'm with you. Let's go home. Those ungrateful Stunards. They got a good job in a great country and they still want more. Good riddance. Yeah, um, I don't think they'll be organizing a strike anytime soon. You're not kidding. Hey man, have a good time in New York. Tell Mikey I says hi. Bring me back some cannoli, okay? I took care of your little problem, Mitchell. But I have a feeling I'll be seeing you again. Perhaps. You did a good job. You may not realize it now, but you did your country a favor. I won't forget it. Why go after just one guy? I'd figure you've got bigger fish to fry. Because this red bullshit is a disease. Now suppose Almeida was allowed to spread his propaganda here. Where does that lead? Well, let me tell you. It goes all the way to the top. National labor organizations have tremendous influence in politics, Dominic. And whose interests are they supporting then? The communists? It's never just one guy. The guys you report to. Do they know you're working with men like us? I don't report to anyone. All the agency asks of me is that I show results. Well, you and I aren't too different, Dominic. We both want what's best for us and our country. They call you guys spooks. It's not hard to imagine why. I don't mind. Maybe we are like ghosts. Some people think we don't exist. And if someone wants to find us, they don't even know where to look. The CIA is careful. We never leave a trace. I don't report to anyone. Will you be flying with us today, sir? Have a pleasant flight, sir. That debate on TV seemed to go on forever. New York, New York, I love coming here. Hey guys. I heard Tom Hagen's in town. You know him, right, boss? Of course I know him. I started as an enforcer with the Corleones, back when I was just boosting cars. We all knew Tom.
attacked. I think we're gonna grab some brewskis later. Dominic, welcome back. Thanks. Uh, why all the men? What's, uh, what's going on? The government has me under investigation. They want to put me in prison. Wait for me in the parlor. The Senate is building a case. They have subpoenas for my businesses in Vegas, here, Florida. Dominic, they have someone who will testify against me. Who? Frank Pentangeli. Frank's dead. I, I saw him die. What you saw was Rosado setting me up. The detectives found him half dead, scared stiff, calling out loud that I turned on him. Me. It's been a while, son. How was Florida? It was good, Tom. Dominic, Tom Hagen has been my consigliere, and now my attorney. He's also family. If the Senate is coming for me, they'll be coming for him too. I need to isolate him from my operations. He's going to join your family and be your consigliere. Tom will be removed from my payroll. Al Neri will handle the transition. Tom, pay a visit to the Senator. Dominic, you're making a name for yourself. Make sure people respect it. Goodbye. Consigliere. Just like old times. It's good to have you in the family, Tom. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Me too. There's been a lot Mike hasn't been able to tell me. But it's safer this way for both of us. You're my consigliere, Tom. I won't keep any secrets from you. Now, who was Michael talking about earlier? What senator? His name is Pat Geary from Nevada. He's a chairman on the Senate committee that's investigating Michael. We're gonna get him on our side, Dominic, before this trial sees the light of day. It won't be easy. He's a United States senator. We can't just pay him off like some backwater judge. We won't have to. Sex is Geary's weakness. He's depraved. We're gonna use this against him. There's a brothel nearby. Some of the girls there are managed by a woman named Rosa Scarlatti. She runs a national prostitution ring. Not really our stock and trade, but she's been loyal to the Corleones for years. Rosa's your best bet. We need her help. We need Rosa's cooperation in this. To do it anywhere else would be too risky. Will they really notice it's hey, you gotta we call got a guy in the slam. I hope he don't talk. Over here. If Don Corleone goes to trial, shit, this whole thing of ours could be made public. Well, it's our job to make sure that don't happen. It's time to bring someone into the family. That way. Rosa, hello. My name is Dominic. I know who you are. Tom told me you were coming. Did he tell you why I'm here? He did, and I can help. But you guys are asking me to sacrifice a lot. A life. I won't play along just out of loyalty, Dominic. You'll have to do something for me first. It's a deal. So what do you want? I want protection. Look, the state of New York has evidence that can bring down my whole operation. But if they go to trial, a lot of powerful men will have their dirty laundry aired in public. Men who would rather see me dead than on the witness stand. All right. What kind of evidence? Books, records, basically a list of every Tom, Dick, and Harry I've done business with, including some men in Washington. The books are being held in a safe at the Federal Building. Get them back for me. Then I'll help you out. Dominic, the Corleones have always been there for me. I can count on you too, right? If you want me to play along, do something about those records first. I can drive. Blackmail in a senator? This is
It's pretty tough living on a cop's salary. I'm looking for some cooperation. What's that worth to you, huh? Fine, you want a little space to get things done? You got it. Flatfoots are here, Chief. I see him! I'm on it. Come on, come on. Crack it now. Who's got me going? Last tumbler. Hold on. Let's stick together. Come on, go! Please tell me you've done something about those records. The state's got nothing on you, Rosa. Or your clients. You're all safe now. Good, then let's get down to brass tacks. I already started making arrangements with Tom. We have the room and we have the girl. If Geary ever shows up here, we'll be ready for him. Wait, you talked to Tom? When? Just now. He's here. He wanted to see the girl we'll set up with the senator. It wasn't easy knowing what will happen, but her time has come. She's an addict, bad for business. Maybe it's better this way. You should speak with Tom. He's waiting for you. The girl, she's got a problem with dope. When she gets herself together, though, clients seem to love her. Call this a double? Tom, it sounds like everything's all set. Almost. The only thing left now is to convince Senator Geary to pay a visit. He'll have to do it of his own accord. If Geary feels coerced into coming, he might see that's a setup. I know. That's why you have to be careful how you talk to him. I've arranged a meeting for you. The Senator thinks you want to talk about purchasing a company and that you need his help. Good. Now all I have to do is get Geary to take the bait. Best thing to do is to appeal to his vanity. Tell him you're having problems with the deal. Political problems, business problems, whatever seems to draw his attention. Geary's got connections. Make him think you're willing to deal if it'll get him on board. Now go, he's waiting for you. Geary's expecting to meet with you. Don't be late. He's taking me hey, to cutie. Here. Did you know I'll be meeting a senator later? You must be something special, babe. You jealous? It's not like he's my boyfriend or nothing. If he likes me, maybe it'll be my ticket out of here. I've never been with a politician before. Over here! Where to? Senator Geary, my name is Dominic. It's a pleasure to meet you. Likewise. This is a nice place your man Hagen found for us. But let's cut the bullshit. What did you want to talk to me about? Business, Senator. I have an opportunity to purchase a foreign company. But there are a few partners who refuse to sell. You know them. You worked at the trust together. I was hoping you could help. So your money talks the talk, but it can't walk the walk, is that it? Let me guess. These guys looked into what you really do for a living. Didn't like what they saw. So why should I help you? My portfolio was spotless, Senator. But I would never expect something for nothing. If you talk to these partners, 
help move the deal forward. I'll make sure you get a cut. Five percent. Five percent? Son, if you're asking for my help, you better understand that I intend to squeeze you. Twenty-five percent. Because I'll do business with you. But the fact is, I despise you. And your kind of people. Don't insult me, Senator. We're both part of the same hypocrisy. So never think you're above me. You know this deal is valuable to me. And it can be valuable to you, too. Are you gonna help me? Maybe. And I'll tell you why. Because if this deal's as valuable as you say, I'm gonna want to keep an eye on you. Because I don't think this is about some foreign company. What's really in it for you? Respect, Senator. I need your help because I'm tired of being in Michael Corleone's shadow. Is that such a bad thing? To make a name for myself? And if we get rich in the process, so be it. Now we're getting somewhere. Say it ain't about business or politics. It's about showing up your old boss. At least now you're being honest. So this deal, does anyone else know about it? No, just you and me. No one else needs to get a cut. That's why I want to move fast, before others get involved. So I need to know, are you in or out? You know what? I don't have to like you, but I like your style. I'm in. I get my friends to help for a fee. But in deals like this, I usually expect there to be other benefits as well. Naturally. These partners have executive privileges at gentlemen's clubs all over America. If that's something that might interest you, I could make sure you get on the list, so to speak. Is that so? Yes. Well, indeed, I would like to be on that list. So to speak, of course. Well, Senator, as a token of my friendship, how would you like a complimentary stay at La Maison Rouge? In fact, feel free to visit any time you're in New York. You'll always be welcome. I like your style. Okay, Dominic, it's a deal. Thank you, Senator. I'll have Tom contact you with the details. You're all right. I'll see you around. Enjoy yourself, Senator. He's waking up. You should get over here. Thanks, Tom. I'm on my way. Tom. Come on, step away. I thought we could help you. Hagen, listen. I did not. I didn't do anything. I know. It's OK. You're very lucky I was called before anyone else. Nobody knows. Just a game. I, I'll fix it. How did it happen? I, I remember. She was laughing. I passed out. When I woke up, I was on the floor. <laughs> Senator, we're putting a call into your office. Explain that you'll be there tomorrow afternoon. You decided to spend the night at one of our hotels as a guest. Jesus. Pat, look at me. This girl has no family. Nobody knows that she worked here. It'll be as if she never existed. All that's left is our friendship. Stay here, Senator. Tom will send for someone to take you to the hotel. Dominic, I don't understand why I can't remember. That's good. The less you remember, the less you can talk about. But you can talk to me. Tell me, is there anything I should know? Anything that could help us both? Well, it, it may be nothing, but I chair the Committee on Organized Crime. I see papers and briefings. As far as we can tell, there's a new Cosa Nostra moving into Florida. Who? Who are they? The Mangano family, from Sicily. We thought they were going to set up shop in Cuba before the revolution. Now they've come here. I'm sorry, Dominic, that's all I know. I know that I couldn't have hurt that girl. I do remember that she was laughing. I've done it before. I know that I couldn't have hurt that girl. Go! Good thing. Uh, What's happening? Gary's pretty shaken up. 
love you. Make sure he stays that way. I'll put a tail on him, make sure he knows that he's being watched. Or protected, I suppose. Huh? It's a mess in there. I don't want any of the girls to see something. Nobody knows about this except us, the Senator, and Rosa. Now, Rosa's gonna give her girls the night off, send them home. We can clean up then, take care of the body. We have the Senator. What now? Hopefully, he can throw his weight around, get his committee to dismiss the investigation. I'll look into it. As for you, you should get to Florida. See if Geary's right about the Manganos. Geary mentioned something about Cuba, that this Mangano family had ties there. He's right. Samuel Mangano, they're done. He was gonna cut a deal with Hyman Roth and Michael. Samuel's a good man, runs his family with honor. They're very respected and feared. You don't want to cross him, Dominic. Senator Geary, poor bastard. He's really smoke. up shit creek now. On. I know about the Manganos. Their boss runs that family like an army. They're tough as fucking nails, those guys. Well, I know Mangano. We were in Cuba together for Roth's meeting. He's an honest guy. Oh, we just passed some sweethearts, boss. Let me take the wheel. I'm trying to hit our businesses, Dominic. Would you like to book a flight, sir? Okay, you're all set. Thanks for flying with us today. Sir, there's a gentleman in the lounge who asked for you. There's a man named Michael Corleone in the lounge. He wants to speak with you. Fredo, did you miss me? Like I miss a hole in the head. Nah, Dominic. It's good to have you back in town. Huh? I'm moving some showgirls out here from Vegas. I'm trying to class up the hotel. Notice all the old people down here? Hurry it up. I don't want no one to see us. It's like you got morning breath all day. Michael! You know that? What are you doing here? I didn't tell anyone I was coming. I came to speak with you about the Mangano family. So Tom already told you. Good. Then you know they're here in Florida. Yes. And Dominic, this is good for us. Samuel Mangano has strong business connections in Sicily. He's a powerful boss, and I respect him. He's always been loyal to his friends. Well, does he have any friends here in America? Anyone he's allied with? I don't think so. I suspect Samuel's entire Florida operation is being bankrolled by him alone. That's a big risk, especially with the Granados so nearby. It's a risk he doesn't have to take. I'm gonna meet with them, set up a truce between our families. Don Mangano sounds like someone I wanna have on my side. Good, but if things don't work out with Mangano, just walk away, don't cross him. If he doesn't agree to the truce, so be it. But don't make him your enemy. Samuel is not someone who forgives easily. Good luck with the truce, Dominic. It's better to have Mangano as a friend than an enemy. This is it. Maybe I should buy a couple. Adios. Oh, Not here. She left quick. The Manganos. Think you can trust them? Michael trusts them. And so do I.
no war with the Manganos as long as the Alliance holds. Don Mangano, it's an honor. It's been a long time since we last met. See, si, in Cuba, a bad day. We lost nearly everything in the revolution. Tell me, how did your family fare? Not good. We lost some loyal men. But whatever doesn't kill us makes us stronger, right? That's right. We survive and learn from our mistakes. And one thing I have learned since right. then is never go into business without someone you trust. Dominic, I've purchased this warehouse for some export work. But I respect that Florida is your territory, so I want to operate it in partnerships with your family. I want to form an alliance with you. Will you agree? Yes, you have my blessing and my friendship. We'll be strong together, Don Magano, and I hope that this alliance will mean even better things in the future. I'll see you around. We're running a chop shop here. You would not believe how much Sicilians are willing to pay for an American car. I trust you, Dominic. This alliance is the best thing for both our families. Those Granados guys are real assholes, but they're assholes with a lot of money. Well, they're about to be a bunch of dead assholes. We're taking them down. All of them. I wonder what Fredo's up to. I don't know. Think he's tried calling me? Dominic, didn't Fredo say he wanted to meet up later? Hey, talk to me. You should go get a drink or something. Whenever you get done with business. This motor's got a funny sound. You hear that? I'm glad it's a loner. Fredo, what's happening? I hope you don't mind. I made myself a drink. You want me to get you something? No, thanks. This heat, it's something else. On the rocks, keeps you cool. You got a point. So, what did you want to see me about? It's about Michael. What about him? I was just wondering, back in Cuba, when Mr. Roth... <laughs> you okay? No, I'm not okay. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I didn't see who did it. They got away too fast. I'll tell you who did it. That backstabber, Mangano. No. Mangano? No. It couldn't have been him. We're allies. Are you crazy? Everyone on the street's saying he wants to control this city. I heard he's smuggling men and guns into Florida. He's getting ready for a war, Dominic. He's probably been playing you since the day you landed. So what are you saying? Did we hit him back? Eye for an eye. Get him now while he's weak. I know a guy, a union boss, who can get us into their warehouse. Take over the place. Run Mangano out. Trust me on this. Okay. If Mangano's preparing for war, then that piece of shit's gonna get one. And Dominic, you'll need more muscle. You got a lot of good guys in your family. Make one of them another capo. This is your best chance to wipe out those bastards. Don't waste it. Nice, Dominic. I never been so scared in my life. The house is on an island. You'll need to get the Union boss to lower the bridge. Fucking Mongados, what kind of shit are they trying to pull here? Who let the animals out of the city? You saw the sons of bitches who tried to kill you, right? I didn't get a good look, but they were sent by Mangano. I just know. Can't you get us there in one piece? Got 
company. Let's move over so I can get out, okay? That way, right? You Charlie Green? Maybe. Depends on who's asking. My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Fredo Corleone's. Ah, Fredo. I ain't seen that son of a bitch in months. If Fredo sent you, it can only mean one thing. That one of you guys needs something from me. I need bridge access to the warehouse. Your union guys ain't gonna help me unless you give the okay. Ask around about me. People will tell you I know how to return a favor. Well, lucky for you, I have a situation on my hands. This new guy, Hector Santos, he's gunning for my job, but he plays dirty. I need him to disappear. Hector's been spreading money around, buying votes. He's even hired thugs to harass my family. Take care of him for me and you'll get across that bridge. You didn't give me any other choice! Stay close, all right? That Magana warehouse, it's the only racket he's got. Police are here! Good. Then it shouldn't be too hard to send him packing back to Sicily. Do this. We gotta hit Mangano back. Show him who's French in charge here. With subtitles? I think I'll pass. Lower the bridge. I need to get across. You got it. Mr. Green already called ahead with the authorization. Be careful. Those warehouse guys don't like to be bothered. Need a fire there. Come on, come on. Crack it now. Do you need a bomb here? Let me know. That fire's gonna climb the walls fast, so we gotta move.
look at you. You can't run this place for shit. Not without me and my men. Got it? Forget it. I built this racket up from nothing. Don't fuck with me! Well, look straight. How could you? Don't yeah, take a dead. look, asshole. It's a long way down. I'd feel sorry for you if I liked okay. you. You willing to die for this shithole? Because that's what's gonna happen. Fine, the place is yours. I just hope you know what you're getting into. Contacted you yet? I bet he's got something to say about it. There's more rackets in this Monopoly. Don't stop now. Mangano's been pretty quiet, boss. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It's neither. It's just his way. Still, he might try to get in contact with us. Yes. Who's this? Samuel Mangano. You stabbed me in the back, Philly Bagasa. Stab you in the back? You sent gunmen to my home, Mangano. My home. You lie. I did no such thing. I saw your men with my own two eyes, Mangano. Don't think you can bullshit me. I'm telling you the truth, Dominic. Look, we need to have a sit-down. Your family and mine. Meet what me behind the old factory. I cannot say any more over the telephone. Man. Oh, it's with these fucking guys. Peace, war, peace, war. Hey, make up your goddamn mind. These Monganos are starting to make me sick. Yeah? Well, just keep your shit together a while longer. Now's not the time to make mistakes. Here he is! Who are you? Where's Samuel? Don Mangano doesn't deal with backstabbers, asshole. My name is Paolo. I'm his consigliere. Backstabber? You guys tried to have me killed, Paolo! Is that what you think? Let me tell you something. If we wanted to kill you, you'd already be dead. Fuck you. Don't think you can threaten me. You know who I am. Yeah, you're a shit. You gave us your word and you broke it. You think that's gonna fly with a Sicilian? The Manganos gave you a chance and you fucked up. I don't have to fucking listen to this. Yeah, Dominic, you do. Cause it's the last thing you're ever gonna hear. You are history. Your men, dead. Your businesses, they belong to us now. It's time your family learns how we do things in the old country. You're a dead man.
Don Corleone finds out about this, shit, we'll all get it. The Mangano's are at war, Fredo. We have to warn Michael. No. Don't bring Michael into this. Why not? He could be in trouble. Don't you see? The trial. He can't get involved. The Senate will be all over him. We gotta go to Mr. Roth. He knows the Mangano's. He'll know how to fix this. Whatever you do, don't get Michael involved. He doesn't need to know about any of this. Talk to Mr. Roth. He'll know what to do about the Mangano's. Let's stick together. I know this place we're going. It's safe, secluded, good spot for a meeting. That's good to know. Still, when we get there, keep your eyes peeled. I have to read it. <clears throat> Brought to you by Corman Drive-In Theater. Do you think Mr. Roth will be along? Because that CIA spook. Roth. He's a survivor. What did I tell you? Somebody's watching over you. Sicilians are not known for their mercy. It's been chaos. The important thing is that you're all right. There's gonna be more bloodshed. Nobody wants another war. I can settle matters with Mangano, but I can't help you unless you're willing to help me. Can you see it? Dominic, it's our future. Cuba. 90 miles away. No goddamn Justice Department, no FBI. That was the past. Don't give up on Cuba. Not yet. Why not? Because we haven't given up. The CIA wants to change in Cuba as much as you do. We have different agendas, but we have the same goal. And we have resources, intelligence. The only thing we don't have is a way to get inside. Anyone can get inside Cuba. Smugglers do it all the time. That's not what I mean. Look, we want to restore order there. We funded dissidents, staged invasions, but none of these things are working. It's time for a new approach. No more big operations this time. Just one man inside, close to the government. Someone the Cubans feel they can trust. And what's this someone gonna do? Kill Castro, bring back the president. And we're trying to protect this country from communist Dominic. You can be a part of that. Think about the possibilities. No more enemies. Partnership with a democratic government in Cuba and having the cash to make everything possible. And the US would turn a blind eye to any money you make there. Dominic, we'd be bigger than US steel. I look pretty sharp, don't you think? I don't want to be kept in the dark, Mitchell. If I'm going to do this, you got to tell me everything. Naturally. The plan's simple, really. We're going to exploit Castro's two weaknesses, the political dissidents and his economic problems. The dissidents? They're loyal to the ex-president, right? You said you were supporting them. We'll cut ties when you arrive. I hate to sacrifice them, but it's the only way to get close. Castro has basically declared open season on the ex-president supporters. Anyone who takes up arms against them is considered a hero of Castro's so-called revolution. So I start a campaign against them and make friends with the government. What then? I'll use my sources to spread information about you. That you're sympathetic to the revolution, maybe looking to expatriate. But more importantly, that you have strong business ties in the West. Well, that part's true. Exactly. So if they look into it, your story checks out. Dominic, all you have to do is play along. It'll get you close to Castro. Believe me, closer than anyone before. And once he's gone, we prop up the ex-president and purge the Reds. After that, anything you want from Cuba is yours. We'll meet again in Cuba. Just remember to play along. I'll contact you when you arrive in Cuba. Your country is counting on you. Go! Ah, uh, you sure, Cap? Assassinating Castro? This is serious shit we're talking about here. Mitchell's plan better work. I know it will. He's never let me down, not once. Cuba was prosperous. We'll see it prosper again. There is one problem, though. Michael. He doesn't know about this war with the Manganos. Michael's in a difficult situation right now with the trial. 
He doesn't need more bad news. Leave Mangano to me. It'll be as if this whole thing never happened. These dissidents, how well armed are they? They get most of their support from the US, but it's middling at best. If Mitchell cuts their lifeline, and he will, they shouldn't be too tough. I don't want to have a big target on my back once I get there. Don't worry. You're a businessman, not an activist. It's a great country, Dominic. It just needs a little nudging in the right direction. What I wouldn't give for 20 more years. Enjoy this opportunity. Don't worry. You're a businessman, not an activist. It's a great country, Dominic. He's sleeping on the couch today. I don't know, boss. You I'm trying to walk here. Follow me. Cuba? What the fuck? Why are you taking us there? Because we need to lay low. And because I made a deal with Mr. Roth. Look, just trust me on this. While we're in Cuba, he's gonna take care of things with Magano. Are you thinking of traveling with us today, sir? Okay, you're all set. Thanks for flying with us today. The authorities are making weird. House calls. I, I feel like I can't keep a low you. profile here. I don't know how Mitchell does it. Son! You wanna see someone else get hurt? Don't make us hurt anyone else. Hola, Dominic. Who is this? Mitchell? Right. I'm in Cuba. Let's meet someplace yeah. private. Find me when you're ready. This isn't happening. That cat's a goner, if we do it my way. Is it safe to talk here? Cubans know how to respect your privacy. It's one of the few things we can learn from them. Come on, let's get down to business. All right then, business. So, have you done your part yet? Yes. We spread the word through all our channels. Everyone's talking. There's an important American in the country. He supports the revolution. The government thinks you want to expatriate. They're reading it up. Okay, so what next? I'm going to give you information on a number of dissidents in the city. You need to take them out, but do it carefully. It needs to draw the government's attention, but it has to be the right kind of attention. Understand? Don't worry about me. I'll keep up my end of the bargain. Good. It shouldn't be long before someone takes notice. Let them make the first move, though. Make them feel like they're in charge. And Dominic, don't forget your cover. Remember, you support this regime. It's the only way to get close. Good luck. What the fuck? We're working for the CIA now? Today's gonna be a good day, Dominic. I can feel it. Don't be too sure. Just because Castro's army kicked their asses doesn't mean they're weak. The ones that survive, they're gonna be tough. I broke up with some skag out here and told her to take a hike. That way.
Close, all right. You revive it. They hit me. See, enough for this assault. I hear you stop. Stay with me now. You're gonna make it. Stay this away. Cool, man. Just stay cool. Build them. car.
Por ahí, con. So I guess we just All wait right. now, right? I'm out or is someone supposed to contact you? I'm not sure. Mitchell said to wait for someone to come to me. Christ, I don't like this broken bag of shit. Hey, we're out of the hot zone. Let's just stay that way, okay? No lo creo. Uh, hola. Is this Senor Dominic? Yeah. Who is this? My Not name me. is Maria. Por favor. Maria Torres. I work for the office of El Presidente. How can I help you? Perhaps you should be asking, how can we help each other? We've been watching you. You seem to be a supporter of the Revolución, verdad? Uh, true. Dominic, there are officials in the government who wish to meet you. Please come to the Presidential Palace. You can stay here as a guest of honor. We will talk more then. Adios. <laughs> Give me some space, muchachos. Once you go inside that palace, you're on your own. I know. You guys find someplace safe to lay low until I'm through. And don't talk to anyone. There's a cop! Boss, we got company. Senor Dominic. Mucho gusto. Bienvenido. Hola. Uh, sorry, I don't speak Spanish. I know. I am your translator for tomorrow's meeting. Follow me. One day, this palace will be a museum. What kind of museum? Un museo de la revolución. Can you tell me what this meeting is about? Didn't anyone tell you? The revolution. And why you, Senor Dominique? Un americano. Apparently want to join the struggle. There are more of us who support your cause than you think. See, si. But very few come to Cuba and risk their lives to fight dissidents. Especially ones with unusual business ties. The American embargo is hurting our people. We need to get our exports out. We need money. But most of all, we need a partner. Someone with access to boats, ports, and officials in the United States. That is why you are here. You will stay here tonight, as a guest of El Presidente. Thank you. Your equipment will be secured until after the meeting. I will meet you in the morning. And please, do not wander at night. I hope you understand. Si. Buenas noches.
I am for the trust gone! No. Star Taro, think you could beat me? Busca el palacio. Un médico. Shit. Fidel. Fidel. Está vivo. Busca el palacio. Sí. Vete. Ten listos a tus hombres. Busca el palacio. Who did this? ¿Dónde está? El americano. No lo encuentro. Dominic. I know you did this. Come out. Maybe you're afraid because I'm a stranger. I'm Esteban Almeida. I'm like you, un mafioso. But I don't hide like a coward. This government understands men like us, what we can do for them. We keep them in power. Too bad for you I was here first. And I'm coming for you, Americano. I'm coming. Por aquí, aquí. I see him over there. I see you. Drop it. What's going on? El Presidente. The American tried to kill him. But Castro's alive? See. Si. God damn it, Dominic. Thank God. Dominic will pay for this. We will not be stopped, my friend.
Christ, what a bloodbath. I don't know what to tell you, Mike. Then tell me everything. Dominic, come in here. I warned you not to go against the Manganos. I thought, the both of us thought, the Mangano tried to have us killed. And you don't come to me? With the trial, it seemed best not to get you involved. So you turned to Roth? Fredo, whose idea was that? Mine. You know, my brother, Fredo, and I love you. But to go to Roth without telling me? You put yourself ahead of the family. You've never seen the big picture, Fredo. Now the Manganos are at war with us. This Cuban family. They muscle in, backed up by God knows who? Is there anything you can help me out with? Anything you can tell me now? It was Roth's plan to cross the Manganos. Roth's plan? I swear to God, I didn't know there'd be a war. He told me the Manganos were weak. That if I can get Dominic to help him out in Cuba, it'd be good for the family. Roth's back in the Almeidas. He's playing us. He said there'd be something in it for me. On my own. I've always taken care of you, Fredo. Taking care of me? How? Send Fredo off to do this. Send Fredo off to do that. I'm your older brother, Mike, and I was stepped over. Twice. It's the way Pop wanted it. Well, it ain't the way I wanted it. Fredo, you're nothing to me now. Not even a brother. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. Mikey. I don't want anything to happen to him while Roth's alive. Michael, I'm sorry. I never wanted things to turn out like this. You made a mistake, Dominic. You're a Don. You have to know who you can trust. I know I have your loyalty, but it's like my father told me. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. You're right. I just never thought that it'd be Fredo. Damn it. Listen, I can help. I want to make things right. Good. Look, the Senate investigation is moving forward. Geary's doing what he can, but I can't take any chances. Not with Frank Pentangeli on the witness stand. So, I've arranged for a backup plan. What is it? I contacted a source in Sicily and found Frank's brother. His name is Vincenzo. He came here right away. He's a man of honor, a Don in his hometown. Vincenzo understands the importance of Omerta. Something Frank has forgotten. What do you plan to do? Bring Vincenzo to the trial. If Frank is going to testify against me, he'll have to do it in front of his own brother. Blood is thicker than water, Dominic. I can only hope that Frank will reconsider the true cost of betrayal. Here, Tom will tell you more. I can only hope that Frank will reconsider the true cost of betrayal. Speak with Tom. He's been in contact with Vincenzo since his arrival. Tom, I just found out about Vincenzo. I know. He's been very helpful. Vincenzo has been staying at your safe house here in New York. He finds it incredible that Frank would testify about this thing of ours. What's the next step? Meet with Vincenzo. Introduce yourself. He needs an escort to the hearing. I don't expect any trouble, but with Roth and the Almeidas working together, we have to be careful. And one more thing. I think the time is right for you to promote one of your captains to underboss. We need the extra leadership, especially now. And an underboss can also give you more support in battle. Make your choice carefully. It's an important one. Rendezvous with Vincenzo at your safe house. He's been asked to meet you. Keep an eye out when you take Vincenzo to the hearings. Be ready for anything. It's a good pick on the new capo, Dominic. Sure, the troops will crumble, but fuck. We gotta get this Vincenzo guy. 
before the trial starts. I know, I know. Michael trusted me with this job. I can't let him down. You drive like a girl doing her makeup. You know that? He's a no bullshit guy. That Tom, Vincenzo's not here, and someone killed his bodyguard. My God, he could be in serious trouble. Or dead. No, he's not dead. His kidnappers would be too smart for that. Vincenzo has to make it to the hearing. We have to find him, fast. Now, I agree. Ask around. Someone must have seen something. But if you get a lead, make sure it checks out. But hurry, Michael's counting on you. <laughs> It looked like they might start... Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for someone. This man. Have you seen him? Yeah. He looks familiar. He was staying with some Corleones at that apartment, right? What's the rush, guys? Sir, excuse me. I'm looking for this man. He looks familiar. Yeah, I seen that guy. He was arguing with two men at a cafe. I remember, they both had Italian accents. Pardon me, I'm looking for this guy. Vincenzo Pentangeli. Does he look familiar? He's the guy from across my alley. Heard him arguing with some people last night. Sounded like at least three men. Step aside, guys. Pardon me. Have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo Pentangeli. That guy? Yeah, he got in a cab with these two Italian goombas. Said that he was going to the south side docks. She hey, I'm looking for the guy in this picture. Have you seen him? Yeah, saw him at my cafe. I remember... These three guys were giving him a hard time. I think reading this pamphlet will give you trouble. Could you take a look at this picture? I'm looking for this man, Vincenzo Pentangeli. I seen him. Saw him and three of his pervy friends going into that brothel. The, uh, Maison Rouge. Excuse me, but I'm looking for someone. Have you seen this man? His name is Vincenzo. Ese es su amigo? Si, sí, lo vi en la Casa Roja con tres otros muchachos. Wish I could afford a cab. A friend of mine is missing. This man. Have you seen him? Si, sí, he lives in the apartment above mine. He's nice. Said buenas noches to me before he turned in last night. Look at you, fine gentlemen. We got room in the family for another guy. This is mine now. Let's go get Vincenzo. 
Yeah. Get it. Over here. Help I didn't me. do anything. Who wants a piece? You can stop this. <laughs> Just say the word. Don't kill me. <laughs> I hope the guy wins. Remember, these are just innocent. I surrender! They're innocent! Give me Not for a square, you're a real dumb fuck. You don't want to mess with me. Where are you hiding, Vincenzo? Tell me, and I might let you live. Okay, I'll talk. He's being held at a safe house nearby. He's still alive, but you'll have to hurry. Roth paid us to kidnap the old man. Not to kill him. I handed him off to one of his associates. Roth paid us to kidnap the... <clears throat> Roth paid us to kidnap the old man, Jump not him. to kill him. Head I handed him off to one you know? Like a basketball. Oh, they didn't do nothing. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out, Chief. I think the cops will be looking for us here. your back. My name is Dominic. I'm a friend of Michael Corleone. Michael? The trap? It is too late. My brother, Frank. We still have time. I'll take you there, but we have to hurry. Okay, take me there. I cannot allow Frank to do this. To break a murder is to burn in hell. Andiamo. Will everyone be seated? We have here today a witness who will testify to Michael Corleone's rule over a crime empire that controls all the gambling in this country. He can corroborate enough charges to recommend a count of perjury against Michael Corleone. Senator? Thank you, Mr. Pentangeli. Mr. Pentangeli, were you a member of the Corleone family? Did you serve under Vito Corleone, also known as the Godfather? I never know no Godfather. I got my own family, Senator. Mr. Pentangeli, you were contradicting a sworn statement. I ask you again, were you a member of a crime organization headed by Michael Corleone? I don't know nothing about that. Oh, I was in the, uh, in the olive oil business with his father, but that was a long time ago. We have an affidavit that you murdered on the orders of Michael Corleone. The FBI guy promised me a deal, so I made up a lot of stuff about Michael because that's what they wanted. And I kept saying, Michael Corleone did this, and uh, Michael, Michael Corleone did that. But it was all lies. I'm going to find out what the hell happened here. Senator! Senator! I move to adjourn this committee. The committee owes this man an apology. The witness is now excused. Thank <laughs> you. 
Christ, can you imagine if we didn't get here in time? Thank God you did. I could see it in him. Frank was going to talk, <laughs> but it's over now. You should go ahead and speak with Michael. He's in the defense chambers. He's in the defense chambers, straight ahead. Michael wanted to talk with you. And, and what the hell? Just like that, in front of everyone. I told you he would. I don't get you people. Congratulations, Michael. The plan worked. It's over. It's not over. Not yet. Pat, where's Henry Mitchell? I don't know. The CIA can't find him. Think he's turned, working for another family. Mitchell's like a bad penny. He'll turn up. You better hope he doesn't. And why not? Mitchell was working with Roth. Anything Roth knows, Mitchell knows. About us, about you. Christ, he could sell us out. Or what if he goes public? About Cuba? What if he talks? He won't talk. I want him gone. I want them all gone. Michael. I mean it, Tom. Mitchell, the Almeidas, everyone. They'll keep coming for us, for our families. You've won. Do you have to wipe everyone out? I don't feel I have to wipe everyone out. Just my enemies. That's all. I'm leaving for Vegas soon, so I'll be brief. Do you understand what I'm saying? Of course. My family will always support you. Good. All of them, Dominic. Every family, every racket, every made man. And Henry Mitchell, too. He's probably a bigger threat than you realize. No. I know how dangerous he can be. Okay, Michael. Leave it to me. Thank you. This is a critical moment for you and for your family. What you do now will make history. Make sure to listen to Tom's advice. He's a smart man. The senator can probably answer some of your questions. Relax, Senator. You played your part perfectly. Don't tell me to relax. I'll do business with you. That doesn't mean I have to accept this dishonest way you pose yourself. Tell me what you know about Mitchell. Where he might be hiding. Anything. I told you everything I know. Mitchell's seeking protection with another family. If he feeds them information, they'll be able to strike wherever it hurts you the most. And if he spills his guts to the papers, well then, just pack it up. We're done for. And, uh, I hope we can count on you to cover this up, Senator. The ball's already rolling. That little plot the two of you cooked up in Cuba, the mob and the CIA in bed together, it's a disgrace to the country. It'd bring down the administration. Now, everything on Mitchell is already being covered up at the highest levels. A disgrace? <laughs> We're both part of the same hypocrisy, Senator. History might redeem us. Oh, right. I'm sure 40 years from now, nobody will even bat an eyelash that the CIA and the Mafia conspired to kill a foreign leader. Like it's just par for the course. Hell no. Mark my words. No one will ever find out about this. This is it, Tom. War. We don't let up until we're on top. You could win this, Dominic. But you have to play it right. Especially after the investigation, any move you make is bound to draw attention. To pull this off, you'll have to have a plan. What's gonna happen to Fredo? I'm worried about him. He's staying at Michael's compound in Lake Tahoe. He's being watched, protected, really. Michael doesn't want anything to happen to him. Not now, not while we're at war. I suppose Pentangeli's headed to the Federal Pen now. He gave up immunity when he perjured himself. He'll have the rest of his life to think about this. Frank could still fix his mistake, though. And if he does, all will be forgiven. You can win this, Dominic. But never forget the people who got you this far, your family.
He's coming this way! Push him! Go! Come on, come on. Crack it. Now! One more turn and... What now? Set a bomb there. I got him! I got him! Huh? Put down. I don't think you can take it. Move! Move! We got some time, but we don't want to walk. Yeah, you're a waste of bullets. What's it gonna be? Think about it. Serious. Real close by. Trouble coming. So I take it, just to get some sleep. Every one of them. Every last fucking one. Gone. It's time to settle this. Careful, I see the fuzz coming. Got him. Don't get into it with chicks from this part of town. They into some. <laughs> Give it to him! Is thicker than I Good job. Bastard. Sayonara, shithead.
it up. Hurry! Over here! See a sniper. We got some time, but we don't want to walk out of here. Stop! Where are you at? It's gonna explode! Over. Uh. We have an understanding? <laughs> Not yeah. so tough now, are you? Trip them up here and end the chase. Solid. Let's stick together. That way. off the leash. Get down! They got a sniper. Por ahí, está armado. Ah, my knee. It's not personal. Only business. Blow it up.
even think. True, Chief. We got company. I see him. Who's got me covered? Drop it. Right. Watch out, they got a sniper up there. Sniper, stay covered. Set a bomb there. Okay. 
Let's do this, Dominic. Chief, we can trip him up here and end the chase. Go. Sorry, boss. Follow me. If you say, so. boss. Asking about me. It's finished. They're all gone. You should contact Don Corleone. Let him know. Yeah, okay. Keep your eyes open for a phone. You did it, Dominic. It's like I can't believe it's really over. Have you called Don Corleone and told him the news yet? Dominic, it's Tom. Tom, how's it going? Where are you? Flowered. I'm here with Michael. Now come to the safe house when you're ready. There's something we need to discuss. Goodbye. This meeting must be important for Don Corleone to come to Florida. I don't get it. What else does Don Corleone expect you to do? I think I know. Check out that There's one wreck. small thing left to settle. Get into it with chicks from this part of town. They into some weird stuff. Tom, lighten up. We did it. We've won. I know, son, I know. It's just hard to believe that it's all over. Michael has something to say to you. Talk to Michael. There's just one little thing left to do. You've done it, Dominic. The Almeidas, the Manganos, everybody. They're gone because of you. You've made a name for yourself. A name that people respect. Don Corleone. Thank you, Michael. It's an honor. But there's one more thing you want to do, isn't there? Yes. Hyman Roth. He's still alive. But he's out of the country. There's no way to get to him. No. He's here, in Florida. Senator Geary had him extradited on corruption charges. He lands at the airport soon. Whoa, the airport? Trying to kill him there would be impossible. They'll turn him over to the Internal Revenue Service, Customs, and half the FBI. It'd be like trying to kill the president. It's not impossible. Nothing's impossible. Just talk to Tom. If anything in this life is certain, if history has taught us anything, is that you can kill anybody. Roth will be sent through the airport in South Florida. That's your only chance to strike. My father told me, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. I'll never let Roth slip away from me again. Never. Hitting Roth in such a public place, it's gonna be dangerous. Yes, but you may never get another chance. He'll probably be arraigned and taken into custody. Once he's in the system, there'll be no way to get to him. How did you get him back in the country? Geary called in a favor. He had Roth extradited on corruption charges. He's been living abroad, making new contacts. It doesn't surprise me that Michael is worried. Hyman Roth can be very persuasive. Roth is gonna be protected. What are we looking at? He'll have some protection. How tight it is, I couldn't say. Expect him to be decently guarded, maybe by professionals. It won't be easy to get into the airport packing heat. No, it won't. You can probably bribe someone to avoid going through the metal detectors. But once you're inside, you'll have airport security to deal with as well, so bring some men you can trust. Hyman Roth is gonna be protected, not just with his own men, but by the cops. 
come back. Don't underestimate him. Hyman Roth is a smart man. Smart and dangerous. Be ready for anything. Look, I know who you are, so you can be straight with me. What do you want? All right, then let's be straight. I need to get through and speak with Mr. Roth. It's worth quite a lot to me. Know what I mean? Glad we understand each other. Okay, go through the back. Just whatever your business is, make sure nobody gets hurt. My friends work here. Betrayed me, Roth. Why? Tell me! Because that's the life we chose. It was only business, Dominic. Let me go, I'll give you anything you want. Please, Dominic. Let me go. It's not personal! <clears throat> only business! Are you gonna do nothing? Dominic.
It's over. I know. I always knew you'd make it. Come with me. You've earned something. Godfather, it's an honor. Dominic, you proved something today. You proved that I was right about you. And you've earned my respect. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Fredo, I'm sorry. 